Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Greedfall Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Faye. And here we have our Desarde. Um Yeah, so uh Last time things didn't quite go the way that I wanted them to. So um Generally, that means that I have to advance the quest a fair amount. Um, so there are two that I can opt to pursue. Oh, do I, I, I really don't feel like fighting one of the big baddies. Um, yeah, we're just gonna travel to our other residence. Oh, right. Um, compose my team. Afra, Kurt, sorry. Uh, Petros and Vasco. Y'all seem the most useful. For this. Um,. I feel like I should store stuff. Oh, wait, hang on. I can use that now, can't I? Hang on. I'm learning, I'm paying attention, it's, I swear. Yeah, okay. Um. And that's technically the better of the two. Um, hmm. I probably am supposed to... Give you a way to... Fight with something um, that isn't magic. But it's okay. It's okay. All right, um, I think we're good there. Um, oh wait, hang on. Actually, cause you know, I have more than just a Sarde in my party. Yep, you're doing well. I love how these are shaking to be like, hey, 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 I have something. Come look at me. Um, or maybe they were just shaking because of the fire, in which case that's actually a kind of a nice touch. Um, Kurt, I don't think I, wow. That, that right now is currently my best blade. Oh, nope, never mind, that is. You're able to wield it. Good to know. Um, but you're not in my current party. Bosco! You're also able to wield it. This is a better upgrade for you. So, yes, sure. We'll, we'll do that. Um... I don't think I actually have better robes for you right now. Or better outfit. That can that can happen later. Oh Petrus, where were you? Cause yeah, I can give you a better ring. Alright. There. Now that I've like done my inventory sorting. I'll oh. 
that should probably go to Vasco. Um... Hey, no, you're okay. Um... God, why don't I just... I just need to sell those, apparently. Okay, now it'll stop blinking at me. Um... Alright. Let's go real quick. I got you a better hat. It's an elegant one. There we go. Very becoming on you. Alright. And... Actually, I may need the priest robes. Uh... I'll, I'll do a full sort later. I swear, at some point. Okay, hang on. Uh, am I allowed? I'm, I am allowed to wear this. I'm capable of it. Um, put that in the inventory. Um, Vasco. Because like I said, we, we need to do... Well... I was hoping. It doesn't feel right to shove you in, in a different things uniform. Alright, let's let's leave the travel pause. Now that I've dallied there long enough. Oh gosh. Um, no. I am pursuing that. So, I wish to go towards the docks, which, yes, those look like docks over there. Please, no more demonstrations today. Ugh. a grisly sight to just leave there. Don't hesitate. All of our products are a blessing from the enlightened. Oh, shove it. Um, take it all. Doopy doopy doo. Harbor Street. Sweet, we found the harbor. Harbor office. Great. Hi, Ferdinand. Hello, lady. You are from the congregation, are you not? Yep. Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? So... Your Admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared. And I do not believe in coincidence. That's I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? No. 
No, I'm good. Thanks. I've got everything I need. Fernando and the Admiral are close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. All right. So, all right. So I want to head towards the port. several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the port. Okay, well. Let's find someone else to talk to then. Hi, excuse me. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... You can imagine. And, well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that's where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. Certainly. All right. Well, I guess that's where I'm going. Anything for me to loot? Nice shit. All right. Well, let's let's go and find ourselves a tavern. More loot. All right. Right, yes, that. Mm. You know what, sure, we'll go. We'll talk to the bishop. Oh, I took a wrong turn. Our brother, I forgot to take a turn. Yep, it is a punishment just to be here. I assure you. Alright, uh, so I need to go. 
stairs. Um. Ah, oh, yes, Bishop. What do you want from me, my daughter? Lady de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? So... I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my daughter. And of course the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And so... to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. That I am certain that, that we will exposed. find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Uh... No, not to you. Uh... You know what? I'm here. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sarde, what can I do for you? Well... I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminis. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, are shot in cold blood. What? Where did you hear such things? From the natives themselves, Mother Cardinal. But surely Bishop Domitius will be able to tell us more about it. This oh, yeah. is nothing but a web of lies that those pagan natives invented to harm us, Your Eminence. There's nothing here that could... Enough, Domitius. If the natives are complaining to the congregation about the exactions of the Inquisition, it is our duty to intervene. In that case, we should act fast, Your Eminence. Because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, Your Excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards, which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As Great. for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. Domitius, if I find out you had anything to do with this, you will pay for it with your life. Oh, your good. eminence. I assure you that this is probably nothing but the actions of a handful of fanatics. If that is the case, then it would prove your incompetence rather than your guilt. It's like either you're guilty or you're an idiot. All right, um, but we're not really actually gonna pursue that one right now. Uh, 
I would really rather look into the missing knots. Because honestly, I think Demetrius is full of it. Approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop on conversations, we should be discreet. Oh, lovely. When are we going to act? Our men are twiddling their thumbs, and that's bad for their morale. Let's not even speak about the guards at the prison. Who likes having clandestine prisoners in their jails? You are impatient. Ah, Aloysius. We haven't been able to get out of them what we need to hear, but it won't be long. Then we can act and launch the grand purification of the noughts. While waiting, keep your men on a leash, especially those in the jails. If the Mother Cardinal learns that you are detaining noughts in a cell in your barracks... We'll be in muddy waters. But then you will too. No need to remind me. They're gone. I cannot believe that these lunatics dared capture some of my brothers to interrogate them. We must set them free from the Coin's jail as soon as possible. As for this talk of purification, gives me shivers. I agree. All right. Um So. Yeah, I'll take it. Just seeing what locations I need to get to. So that's one of them. This one might happen a bit faster. Though I may need to dress you up as well, Bosco. Alright. Let's go home and get dressed. That, I think, is going to be the most important move I make right now. Ah. Take everything. Alrighty. Well. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So... Let's see, where's my trunk? There is my trunk. Okay. Alright, fine. Let's... Let's, uh... Make sure... That... Um... I don't actually know if I grabbed the right thing. Oh. Uh, actually, I will probably need the sailor's coat here. In a little bit. I will probably need another sailor's coat, actually. Um, do I have a second one? Uh, 
Nope. Nope, I don't. Alright. Well. So, the start day. Um. We're gonna wear that for a bit. And. Let's go. Oh, I had two priest robes. You're gonna wear that for a bit. I apologize. But we're about to go sneaking off into uh, an area where it may be frowned upon for us to be. Um. Please don't mind us. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. Lovely. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. Uh, where am I trying to get to? Apparently, a distant part. Sorry. Don't actually want to speak to any of you. Aha. I see, I walked into the tavern? This one. Alright, it, it seems like a bad idea to just open this, but mayhap I can. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Uh, it only takes eight gold. And if I gave you this so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Of course. You know, I'm only going to break people out of prison. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we don't discover anything reprehensible, we'll have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene. That is a point. Okay. Yep, I only freed the prisoners. I promise I was discreet. See, I, I did it in, like... Or the luminous robes and everything. Um... No. This is not where I wanted to go. I just want to leave. 
All right. Now, uh, now we change clothes. Okay. Because, yeah, now, now I have to, um, kind of go and look for these secrets. Oh, do I need sailor clothes? I probably do. Merchant! Where's a merchant? Uh, I gotta go back to the square. Huh. <sighs> Not there. It's this one, this way. Oh god. Hey, I, I am on the right path. Why didn't I second guess myself? I was doing so well. Hey. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Well, I need another sailor's outfit. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, you know what? Yep, worth it. Worth every penny. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Okay, good. And I've already equipped it. supposed to go through the front door. Well, he didn't seem upset. I may get into some trouble here. Right? I'm in the right building? me. Please don't mind me. Okay. What? Downstairs. Or 
orders from the harbor office. To the attention of the knots in charge of guarding the warehouse, it is crucial that the number of guards patrolling the most sensitive warehouses be doubled. Inquisitors in disguise were spotted in the area. They must be attempting to get inside, so exercise caution to make sure not to let anyone inside uh, these warehouses. Only the knots are allowed. Our secrets must be protected at all costs. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Nords are hiding from us. I can assure you, we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... Thank you, Vasco. Can I, like, just drop out the window? I guess not. See, I think that's rather unfortunate. I mean, they have these nice large windows. Okay. Don't notice me, don't notice me, I'm sneaking. Sneaking. I'm being very sneaky. <laughs> Good job, Vasco! Oh my god. That was the best. Bosco, you, like, make me happy there. Alright. Hmm. So maybe I'd do better if I left Petras? I'm just, I'm trying to think. Come closer. Don't hesitate. Ugh. All of our products are a blessing from the end of Am I allowed to? I don't have enough sailor outfits. Uh. Compose my team. Oh. Well... Hmm. You don't look so good, though, if you're with us. Kurt kind of just looks like hired muscle. So I can get that to work. Siora I may not be able to get away with. Afra, it doesn't even make sense that she's in this region. Alright. Let's go. I'm about to go break into a knot warehouse. This is not a good idea. Ugh. Which probably means I should save it for next time. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode, and in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.